All right, so now I have my little Suzuki X90 car hooked up to it. It's in neutral. See if it can, if it can haul this guy um, down towards me. So I have my drone up above me. I already have the yard boat in the follow me mode. So now once I go in front of it, it'll detect me and it should start following me. All right, so now I'm gonna change out the snowblower attachment. I actually have a plow on it right now, but I'm going to change it out for this smart assist module. Now this is actually a pretty simple module, it comes with the core unit, but what it has is basically, it has dual cameras here. These cameras allow it to have, um, you know, kind of 3D vision, and then also has a light on there and it's got a little bumper and stuff, but um, using this now, it will be able to do some uh, pretty cool uh, automated following and, and other things. So let me show you how that goes. Okay, so I got the plow off. Now to get the snowblower off, there's two locks here, the levers that you just pick up. Then we can um, grab it by the handle and slide it off. All right, so we just move it slightly off and then we use the uh, number two hex key to take the cover off of um, the wiring connector so we can unplug the wire. All right, so now we got that off, we can just unlock this, slide this off, and now we have the snowblower is now fully detached from the core. All right, so now we do something similar for the uh, smart assist module. We just line this up in here so that we can get it connected. So it clips into place there. Now we just line this up with these pins and push it on. All right, there we go. Now we have the Yarbo Smart Assist module on. All right, so now to the back of the machine, this is where you can attach this tow hitch. Now the black part comes with the Yarbo core unit. The ball is one I already had. This is just a standard ball. It is the smaller shank um, that's on it, but uh, this will take any of those. And then this just slides into this little groove here and then does have a um, two options. This is the thumb uh, screw one, but it also has one that has an Allen hex uh, head. But that just goes in to lock the um, the hitch in all right all right so when i turn it on it um and i opened the app it told me that it could tell i switched the module to the smart assist module so it does it automatically. You can see the background also shows you that now that it's on there instead of the snow blower and snow plow before. So that gives me new options here. So if I go into the uh, the settings and I go down to the follow me beta. Um, this is where I can, I think, start this follow me beta. So lo and behold, it is just now following me. Now the app is showing that the camera screen is not supported on cellular mode. I think it's because I'm on Bluetooth connected to the device. All right, so I am literally uh, walking and it is following me wherever I go. If I turn over this way, it will turn and follow me. And I can turn back over this way and it will track which way I'm going and follow me around the yard. So this is pretty cool. It looks like if I go too far away, it will stop. So I have to go back a little bit closer to it. It wants to be, I don't know, whatever that is, 15 feet or something away from me. If I walk too fast away from it, it will pause and wait till I get a little bit closer. All right, so now I have my little Suzuki X90 car hooked up to it. It's in neutral. Um, the, honestly, the tires are not that well inflated. They're a little bit low, but I opted not to, uh, not to pump them up just to see what it does to see if it can, if it can haul this guy. Um, down towards me. So I have my drone up above me. I already have the yard boat in the follow me mode. So now once I go in front of it, it'll detect me and it should start following me. So I'm gonna have it follow me and there you go. You can see that it is pulling that car. Now obviously I have no one driving the car and so I don't want to hit anything. So I'm about to run to go stop in a second. All right, so we just adjusted the steering, so hopefully we'll drive onto the uh, the road here and see how far I'll go.
So it's pretty cool. You can see it clearly can uh, can tow a car. Now, obviously, it's made for more like a a, um, a little cart or a wagon that you pull. That's what it's ideally for. But it can pull up to about 3,500 pounds. What they say is ideal condition. You know, this car doesn't weigh quite that. Probably weighs 2,500 pounds. But you can see that it's able to uh, to tow quite a bit, um, which is pretty impressive for a little machine. Uh, one note, of course, is that it has a hitch ball, but you don't want to put a lot of tongue weight on it because then it will pick up, um, you know, the front end of it. So you do want to um, keep it to a fairly minimal amount of tongue weight, and that's why I opted to just go ahead and tow the car to show you because that now it's just a flat tow. Okay, so overall, it's a pretty cool feature. I really like that uh, smart uh, module that allows it to follow me around the yard. Uh, wherever I walk, it can carry a, uh, a wagon with me or even up to a car. Very cool. All right, so here we are just going through the yard just to show you a little bit of uh, what it can do as far as following me. I can change direction. Obviously, if I, um, you know, turn quickly where it can't see me anymore, then it can't follow that. But if you uh, do arcs, it can do that. And then, uh, of course, you can always grab the controller and, and flip it around 180 if you need to do that uh, immediately. I don't see a current way to turn it 180. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty good at this. Now if I get too far away, it will lose me. So I have to, you know, make sure you don't want too fast and it will, it will stop and wait till you get back a little bit closer. All right, and so if I just stop here, once it gets to me, it will uh, stop and wait for me uh, to either pause it or keep moving. All right, one more thing. Now I have my Yarbo in my barn, so it doesn't get GPS, but if you look here, now in addition to the area, the pathway, the no-go zone, and docking station, now that we have that smart assist module on, we get a patrol line option. So this patrol line option would allow me to um, draw a line or a pathway around my property however I wanted and it would follow that line exactly uh, to patrol and what it does it uses the cameras to look for um, any people and it will actually uh, send a alert out uh, to tell them that they're being watched and to, to leave basically so uh, kind of a neat feature okay here in the uh, smart assist module in the work preferences, now you do have a couple uh, settings. Those of the default is fast, but it can actually drive faster as well if desired. And you can have it automatically return to the um, charging station based off the battery level, as well as determine if it does zero turn or smart turn. I think zero turn is it you know basically just turns on a dime, which is typically more destructive to any type of surface or maybe leaves more marks on concrete. So smart turn is I think a more gentle turn. Then you also have rollover tilt and lift detection as well as volume here all right and then there is a geofence feature this would allow you to geofence your property and then whenever the yarbo left that geofenced area you would get notified